I wouldn't linger here. Maybe not. And we can probably use this shortcut over here. Zoink. Ow. To get back to the other one. And we could use a supply cache. Can I get over there? Like... Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. But there is an Illuvian there, so I p can probably get over there somehow. Also, I wonder if I can, like... No. I thought I could. How about if I use one of those? Although that's not going to explode because there's no people there. So how do I get that? There's got to be a way to uh, disable that thing. Well, no, no, don't use that again. We gotta get in this one, right? That'll take us down to the lake, and down at the lake was where the thing was. Right over here. And that lowers the bridge, right? Or brings the bridge up, rather. Sweet baby Jesus. So now we can make contact with the Kunar and see what they're all about. Why they are here. They're trying to stop souls, probably. Now I wonder what the Kunari has to do with it. I, f I mean, the Kunari does... Kunari. I'm pretty sure the Kunari are, like, used to be elves, but somehow they got changed. But the question is how? The Inquisition doesn't is it like dragon blood? So like dragons plus elves equals Kunari? Or is it something else? These guys are weak. And I wonder if they're like a splinter group from the elven slaves or something? Or maybe even the um, non-rebelling slaves got transformed to be stronger or something? In order to fight Solus's faction? We'll find out, I guess. Flank him because of his shield. And down we go. Get melted, son! Is there anything to do up here? No. How about up here? No. But I am pinging off something. Oh, we got herbs. Let's pick some herbs for old time's sake. <laughs> that was like half of my game time, picking herbs and mining stuff. Luckily, I edited most of that out. A forgotten sanctuary. What is that? Another prophet's laurel? Prophet's Lore, isn't that one of the rare herbs as well? Pretty sure. I mean, it's very unlikely, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be like Hard in Hightown books over here somewhere! I wouldn't know how they had ended up here, but... Is that a, a deer? I'm just gonna run around, see what we can find. Tahala! Isn't this one of the uh, veil string hunting devices? Sorta? Light veil fire. Silverite. Can I light this from here? 
No. We're in an elven sanctuary, and all we do is kill one of their sacred animals. Golden Hella? That's bound to be something we can do. It's gonna drop something good, isn't it? Golden Halahide, Le Tier 2 Masterwork Leather. That's pretty damn awesome. For when we get back to any sort of uh, crafting station. But that appears to be it. So now we can head back through the front door. Wait, are you still in combat? I guess maybe with these guys? Let's head in. We're ready for some answers. Oh, we got more spirits. I don't like the spirits. I wonder how much damage my range does. Also, why is the Kenori side by side with the spirits? That's super weird. Or is Solus um, like recruiting from the Kunori for some sort of reason? Like the Elven Uprising? Because he knows that the Kunori were once Elves. And so does the Ben Hafrath. Or Hazrath. Let's set one down one of these. Let's set down one of these. Because F you, that's why. You spirit son of bitches. You can take one of those to your face. I said you can take one of those for your face. And how about one of those for good measure? Die, son! Ha, ah, now you want to join us. Or not? I'm coming for you. Time for World of Hurt! Or you can push me down like a son of a bitch. Ah, here we go. Thank you for coming down to your death. No! Kill him! Block the ladder! What the hell are you even doing, son? Don't push me down. Don't be that guy. Oh, now you want to go for them. Now that you're dead. So there, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that... Uh, Solus is recruiting for some sort of purpose. Possibly something to do with the um, restoration of the elven people. And maybe to um, combat the Tevinter who are stepping in their footsteps by enslaving and having mage lords as masters. He doesn't like that. We got more of them. Luckily, only normal dudes right this time, so we can do whatever we want. Let's go for the, the weak ones first. Flank the defenders. Damn, Cold, you're getting your ass beat. Blackwall, you are not the best tank. Not is Hera. But sure. They do have a lot of HP, I gotta give him that.
Or maybe it's because I'm doing not a lot of damage, maybe? I think I got a pretty good uh, staff, I think. And we got a spearman to go. Any loot from these guys? No. Two spearmen to go. Oh, he's targeting Varric. Come on, get up there. And... No, that's rude. Don't be rude. I'm gonna have to drink. And then, can I do one of these? No. It's not like the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The Whirlwind Shout from Skyrim, where you can use it to cross minor distances. Very handy that. Have some face, some fire to your face. And if I use that and like re emerge inside him. That does a lot of damage as well. Why More of this veil fire thing. Kunari soldiers always have orders. The Kunes declared us an enemy. Are you saying the entire Kunari nation wants us dead? Maybe I should have brought Black Blackwall. Damn it! That was a missed opportunity. Now what can we find here? There was that veil fire out there. That's Van Harel, removing the face markings from a Dalish elf. Cleansed, fresh-faced where the marks once marred. Van Harel helping, healing, giving hope. Isn't this place older than the Dalish? Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning. Yup. Didn't we talk to him about that? I'm pretty sure we talked to Souls about that. And uh, basically the face marking was the mark of slaves. So removing them means uh, they're free. And that's why he doesn't like the Dalish Elves that much. Especially if they have face markings. Because it's like a sign of their oppression. Meanwhile, the Dalish Elves... ...have thought it was like a sign of their heritage. And that's totally gonna open this one up, right? There's gonna be like a staircase down. Into some sort of sanctuary. And press. Oh, there's a uh, an order to things. So I guess if it stays lit, that's the right one. Or is it just that they don't stay lit for long? Is this wrong? No? Everything seems light. And everything... ...didn't light up again. Hmm... Oh, here we go! A clue! The dread wolf keeps its gaze on the one light that illuminates the way forward. So he's looking at this one. And the same thing over here. So he's looking at this one. And that is the password, right? No? Or maybe everyone... Each one but this one, because that's like behind them. And that... And this... Oh, maybe it's this one. Let's try this first. Yeah, it's only this one. Because that's where the statue is looking. There we go. Oh, we got loot. Arrowwood. Sure, thank you. Down into the depths we go. 
and pop that open. The Lifting of the Valis Lin. A once your powerful magic carries the sensation of determination, images flash by. Former slaves in ranks with Fenherel, armed and strong. Their skin is clear, their face tattoos, the elven Valaslin are gone. Words are not so much heard as felt. The brand of the Evanuris can be listed, lifted from you, that all may know you oppose their cruelties. None here are slaves. All are under our protection. All may choose to fight. So that is a rebellion against... Yeah. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris posing as gods. Exactly. But why is he back here if it is soulless? Those are Kunari. Who is he planning to attack once he's gathered enough forces? Get in there! Ah! Look at that! He's frozen in midair! That is amazing. Do another barrier. Focus on the assassin, thank you. Those are a son of a bitch. Or we could do one of these. Luckily, or unluckily, they are not fates. So they don't die immediately like um, the spirits. But they do take a lot of damage from that. So I'm okay with it. There we go. Any cool stuff around here? Note regarding the wolf statue. Remember, if you wish to move the statue, light the second scones from the left as you face the wolf's head. Use the blue of its magic. Remember, you do it to Kuhn. Do not touch it, it is old and elven. We will have a Cyrobus examine it for... Well, I touched it. Sorry. Sucks to be you. Anything on the other side? A bunk? More bunks? Oh, and a chest. With an emerald or four. An unknown agent. Two hours ago, an unknown intruder penetrated our defenses. Masked and cloaked, and a mage. Used magic to awaken spirits and turn them against us. But they were working side by side. Intruder moved as if they knew the place. Fled after spirits awoke. Dozens dead. Spirits keep attacking. Engagement not recommended. A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. Let's look for anything that explains why the Kunari came here before we go. Kunari orders and a unique great axe. Plan of attack. This letter is written in both Kunlat and the common tongue. I have read your reports. Station your people in the abandoned elven towers by the lake. It is a short distance from its entrance to the mirror that connects to Halam Shiral. You will need a space to lodge our people after infiltration is complete. There is a map of the car crossroads at the bottom, with an arrow from the Elven Ruins Illuvian to the Illuvian that leads to the Winter Palace. This letter says the Kunari came to these ruins because the Illuvians connect to Halam Shiral. An attack on the Winter Palace? It was some sort of infiltration. There's no more details. So that was definitely on, like a uh, assassin that I saw palace. pop away back at the Winter Palace. Oh, we popped up here. Okay. Remember this was inaccessible from the other side? And we gotta go out again. And back to the Winter Palace. But we still don't have a way to uh, get through those veil fire things. Without dying. I wonder how that works. If anyone knows, leave a comment below. One dead Canari was bad enough, 
Now we have more, and they're hostile. And spirits, and an intruder. This makes no sense. The Inquisition has an alliance with the Kunari. Why would they attack us? They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now. I had hopes for the Council. I just wanted the Exalted Council to go smoothly. We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talk. I'm sorry! Our only advantage is that Orle and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. Hmm. Can we use the Kunari? Could we use the Kunari threat to remind everyone how valuable the Inquisition still is? Not until we know more. <sighs> it will be fine. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Kunari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. Yup. 